It's not that I don't want you here, yeah. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear, no. I fall for you every time I try to resist. I'm thinking it away. Palm trees, beach views, ordinary things. All I want. Let's get straight to it. I'm going to be giving you the raw materials that you need to learn this song. Um, we're in the key of E, we're standard time, standard tuning. Um, let's start by looking at the chords in the order that they feature. Then we'll look at the timing and then the rhythm and some rhythm options. Okay, so we're starting with an E major seven. And we're going to slide down to a D sharp seven. It's going to be followed by a G sharp minor seven and then down to an F sharp minor seven and finish with a B9 chord. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Remember that uh, got the chord diagrams with the finger rings and that if you wanna grab the chord chart, just hit the link in the description. Um, in terms of timing, we've got, it's a four bar turnaround. So we just had five chords there. So one of those bars is gonna be split and it's gonna be the fourth bar. Okay, so you're gonna have two beats on F sharp minor seven and two beats on B9. Okay, so let me play that with a count and a bit of rhythm. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And repeat. Okay, so it's, um, the last bar is split. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's a nice little two, five, one progression um, in the key of E, yeah? So um, that's the timing. Let's look at uh, the rhythm and some rhythm options. Okay, so what I was just playing is definitely gonna work, um, but you could start with something really simple, which is what I did in the intro. Just play uh, semi-breathes or whole notes just to you know, give some space, let things build up and sort of act as a, um, an intro really, yeah? And then you can go with, yeah? A bit more of a, a percussive type of rhythm. So that's basically gonna be bass with the treble strings and a mute. And then you pluck all of the strings together. So put that all together, you're gonna get So, um, and then a mute on the end as well there, sounds good. So in terms of timing, you're going one, a two, and three, four, one, a two, and three, four, one, a two, and three, four, one, a two, and three, four. Okay, so a couple of little changes there. I um, did a, a chromatic walk down on the fourth beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, and so a little push, half a beat early on the B9. Um, so those are some variations you can throw in. Um, and also there, I just went to just a different um, fingering for the E major seven. So I'm using the, uh, the D shape. So that's D major seven. So you slide it up two frets and that's gonna give you E major seven. Um, we could do something different for the D sharp seven, so the C shapes, a C seven, C sharp, D, D sharp. Yeah, so um, for the minor sevens, if you don't want to keep it in the lower register, we can move up to the A string. So on the 11th fret is your G sharp, yeah, so. Okay, and then just go to a, a B seven on the low E string. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Um, that's everything you need. Uh, remember, if you want to get hold of the chord chart, then hit the link in the description. And that's pretty much everything. So hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care.